Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Liftoff. There are a lot of operations going on in space. Some of them are under NASA, others through ESA, others from SpaceX, and others still are from other countries. Each of these missions has one thing in mind. They are all aiming to discover one of the many mysteries of space. Not so long ago, one of these mysterious space planes operated by the U.S. military set a new spaceflight record. But what new record has been set? For the U.S. Space Force's robotic X-37B space plane, the records keep falling. As of July 7th, the X-37B has been moving through Earth's orbit for about 781 days. This is greater than its previous record, which was 780 days. This reusable vehicle that was designed by Boeing is currently on its sixth mission, which has been given the name Orbital Test Vehicle 6 or OTV-6. This mission launched on May 17, 2020. On the same date that the space plane broke the record, Boeing Space announced it on Twitter, writing that the space plane has set another endurance record as it has on every mission since it first launched in 2010. In the tweet, they also gave thanks to the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Space Force, and other X-37B team members. But how far back does the X-37B space plane go? Before we continue, make sure that you smash that like button as hard as you can and subscribe to our channel for nothing but the latest when it comes to Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, science, space, technology, and so much more. And with that, let's get going. The X-37 program was born in 1999 under NASA. The agency had initially planned to construct two vehicles, which are an Approach and Landing Test Vehicle, or ALTV, and an Orbital Vehicle. NASA later transferred the project to the U.S. military in 2004, specifically to the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. By this point, X-37 had already been termed a classified project. Later on, DARPA finished the ALTV part of the program in 2006, and they went on to conduct a series of captive carry and free flight tests. NASA's envisioned orbital vehicle never saw the light of day, but it was the main source of inspiration for the space plane that is now known as X-37B. At the moment, the X-37B program is now run by the Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office, which has mission control for orbital flights that are based at the 3rd Space Experimentation Squadron at Shriver Air Force Base in Colorado. These space planes are built by Boeing's Phantom Works division. There have been two different X-37B vehicles that have flown a total of five missions, which are all dubbed as OTV-1, 2, 3, and 4. The OTV stands for Orbital Test Vehicle. Four of these flights have reached space with the help of the Atlas V rocket from the United Launch Alliance. The fifth launch was in September of 2017, and it was on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The OTV-1 launched in April 2010, and it stayed aloft for about 224 days. The OTV-2 stayed in space for twice the time of the OTV-1 did, having launched in March of 2011 and returning to Earth 468 days later, which was in June of 2012. OTV took off in December 11, 2012, and 674 days later, it landed back in October of 2014. The OTV-4 mission marked the second flight for the X-37B, which also flew OTV-2. It launched on May 20, 2015, and it set a new record on March 25, 2017, having spent 718 days in space. It was the very first X-37B landing at NASA's shuttle landing facility at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The other missions landed at Vandenberg Air Force Base. The OTV-5 mission took off on September 7, 2017 aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, taking off from the historic Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The space plane set a new record of 780 days in orbit. Aboard it was the Air Force Research Laboratory Advanced Structurally Embedded Thermal Spreader, which is an experiment that was designed to test experimental electronics and oscillating heat pipe technologies in the long-duration space environment. This is according to a statement by the U.S. Air Force. Joan Johnson Fries, a professor of national security affairs at the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island, told Space.com when referring to OTV-3, the X-37 is a technology test bed, and as such, pushing the envelope is the mission. Endurance is one of several X-37 profile parameters that are being tested along with others, such as in-flight capabilities and turnaround time for use. 
According to Air Force officials, the space plane also carried several other experiments and small satellites. The OTV-5 landed on October 27, 2019 at NASA's shuttle landing facility, marking the second time an X-37B has done so. This record has yet again been broken, setting it at 781 days. The X-37B's current mission mainly includes several classified payloads. However, some of its onboard experiments have been made public. One such experiment that was deployed last year was testing the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory's Photovoltaic Radio Frequency Antenna Module, or PRAM for short. This is a small device that's the size of a pizza box and is aimed at converting solar power into microwaves, which can then be beamed back to Earth from orbit. Some of the other known payloads that were launched on OTV-6 include the U.S. Air Force's Academy-designed Falcon 8 satellite, which has about five experimental payloads itself. It also has two NASA experiments that were conducted to see how radiation affects plant seeds and how space affects different kinds of materials. The overall design of the X-37B is somehow similar to that of NASA's retired space shuttle. However, the X-37B is much smaller. The military space plane only measures about 29 feet in length and 9.5 feet in height. It also has a wingspan that is just under 15 feet. When it comes to launching, the X-37B weighs about 11,000 pounds, which is roughly 4,990 kilograms. The X-37B is designed to operate at a range of altitudes, which is anywhere from 150 to 500 miles. The craft is fitted with fully automated deorbit and landing capabilities as well as a fully electromechanical control system that eliminates the need for hydraulics. According to a company fact sheet, Boeing refers to the X-37B as one of the world's newest and most advanced re-entry spacecraft. There have been rumors and theories that the X-37B might just be a testbed for orbital weapons or that it could be used to capture adversary satellites. This is mainly because of all the secrecy that surrounds the X-37B missions. Experts have been doubting these claims, arguing that the plane is far too small and it is not even maneuverable enough to be used for these roles. The space plane's main role may mostly involve testing new sensor systems and other technologies in orbit. This is what the U.S. military officials have long claimed. Former Air Force orbital analyst Brian Whedon, who now works as a technical advisor for the nonprofit Secure World Foundation, gave a statement to Space.com just before the launch of the OTV-2 saying, I absolutely think that's the primary mission. He then added that if you take some of the aspects of the X-37B's design, it would make a less than ideal space weapon. This includes the craft's shuttle-style runway landings, which make it vulnerable to attack by hostile forces. Whedon said, it can be tracked, so it's going to be hard for it to sneak up on anything. And when it comes down to itself, it's a very ungainly, slow-moving glider. Even though the OTV-6 has recently set a new duration record for the X-37B program, 781 days is still a pretty long way from the overall spaceflight mark. Most Earth observation satellites operate for at least 10 years. A great example is NASA's Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, which are still in operation in interstellar space. This is after having been launched about 45 years ago. Since the X-37B missions began, they have always been launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Base in Florida. Even though the first three missions landed at California's Vandenberg Air Force Base, the future missions above the OTV-4 may land at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is right next to Cape Canaveral. Boeing is making use of an old NASA space shuttle hangar at the Kennedy Space Center to service the X-37B space planes for the U.S. Air Force. There is now another record in the books when it comes to spaceflight, and there will definitely be more to come. What do you think the X-37B mission is all about? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Also, before you go, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for some of the latest updates on Elon Musk, SpaceX, Tesla, science, space, technology, and so much more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.